Okay, so today we are going to be working with our Grand Border die set. Um, this comes with six dies. It has shadow layers and it also has the cut in detail die. So I, I put all the stuff that I'm gonna be using here just on the table and I'm gonna just go over it with you guys. So the first thing that we're gonna be using are some card blanks from the Treasury um, stamp and die set. I got out a whole bunch of card toppers. I also got out a piece of cardstock from the um, plaid cardstock set. Of course, we need our matte gold foil. I got some butterflies. These two butterflies. This flower matches this flower. Um, I'm gonna put a border on this one using these border borders here. And then I got some some out some bows. So we're gonna be putting bows on them. Probably I don't know which ones. Maybe the green one over here. And the pink one over here, the gold one over here, and I may be using a butterfly on this one over here. Okay, let's make our first card and let's work with this one. So we're gonna start with this die. Let me put it down on the table and it's shadow layer. I'm gonna use a ruler and cut out our card front. And then we're going to put this over the top, edge to edge, and run it through our die cutting machine. After you ran it through the first time, flip it over to the other side, line up the design using your magnetic mat. I say tape it down so it doesn't move. And then run it through your die cutting machine a second time. Okay, and here's what you get. So what I wanna do here is take the shadow layer of the die is this one and we're gonna put it on the edge of the paper so we're gonna take it and thread it through here just so that it's barely on the edge here and cut it out All right so we have that side now we're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side All right, and now we have this really pretty layer to put over the top. I'm just gonna glue these two together. Now, because it will hang off a little bit, this one is a little bit bigger than this, the one underneath it. And so it, the you'll see that it hangs off just a little bit, but I'm okay with that because we're gonna be putting this on to a card base, so it'll cover it all up. Or should I use foam pads? Take your foam pads. Okay, and I'm going to foam mount this piece on the top of a, a card blank. Make sure it's opening the right way. This one needs a lot of foam pads because we really want it to stay in place. All right, we place that down on the top of our card blank. And you can see the gold kind of peeking through on each side. 
Now we want to take our card topper, place that down. Then we want to put our butterfly on the top of the butterfly to give him some extra added dimension. This flower is a sticker. Overlap it on our card. We have our bow. Place that diagonally on our card. Okay, I cut out these and I wanna put them on my card. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna take this one and cut it in half. And I'm gonna use my glue to stick it underneath here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to the one on the bottom. I'm just gonna tuck it under here. I think that finishes it off quite nicely. What do you think? Okay, let's move on to our second card, which is this border die. So what we're gonna do is cut this die out of ivory cardstock. All right, and then this is our finished piece. The next thing that we're going to do is cut the shadow layer of this die through the card like That's all we wanna cut. We're gonna run that through our empress. And that gives us this, the shadow layer of the die on our card. Now what we want to do is just take this one and place it over the top with some glue. And then glue it down. And then this is what you have. Now I have two of these um, card toppers that both say congratulations. And I have these banners. And what I want to do is put this over the top to cover the edge. Here. here we go, here's our card topper. Let's glue this down to our card. Okay, now we have the card topper in place. And I'm going to add a little bit more dimension to the card topper by cutting out the congratulations. I haven't used these card toppers in a very long time. I've had them for a while. And because I never used them, I decided I wasn't gonna buy any more. So I've never bought in. I've never bought, sorry, bought isn't a word, um, any more of her card toppers because I wasn't really uh, utilizing them. So that gives a little bit more dimension there, as you can probably see, to our topper. But let's not stop there. We have our butterfly. Let's go ahead and give him some wings that lift up off of the ground. And he can join his friend flying to congratulate whoever we decide to give this card to. I'm gonna take this bow and here we go. Let's congratulate whoever it is on a job well done. I don't like that that way. Let's put it straight. Uh, okay. All right, and there's our first finished um, grand border, or our second, sorry, finished grand border card. All right, let's move on. Okay, so our third card we're gonna make is with this grand border die. Let's cut out of the gold foil 
the decorative piece. Okay, let's also cut the die out of the front of the card and run this whole thing through the Empress. Okay, and so now we have our cut, but we do need to cut off this this little piece that's still hanging on right here. All right, and then I'm just gonna glue this piece over the top of this piece. So you could put it under like I normally do as a offset layer, but you will see that on the other side of your card. So I'm just gonna put it on the top. We're gonna go ahead and put on our, our card topper pieces on your birthday. And I just need to make sure wherever I put this, it covers up the border. There you go. Let's do the same thing with our second die cut. Isn't that one pretty? So pretty. And now we just have to cover up the border here. Maybe my, our little, our little butterfly can do that. Or yeah, butterfly can do that for us. And then last, we'll put our little birthday bow right here on, on your birthday. Grand border dies. You can always use the shadow layer to put something inside of here, something maybe that could, you know, pop this up a little bit more. Um, but like I said, you have to be a little bit okay with it showing through here. So this is our finished card. So we have our first card, our second card, and our third card all from the Grand Borders die set.